We're learning more tonight about the possibility of St. Louis County's union plow drivers walking off the job. This comes after the Teamsters Local 320 members voted almost unanimously Sunday authorizing a potential strike if their demands are not met. CBS 3's Ryan Campo joins us live now. Ryan, it's already felt like a pretty long winter with snow covered roads. What could this strike mean for the county's plowing operations if it actually plays out? Yeah, well, it could bring some uncertainty to the over 3,000 miles the St. Louis County Public Works Department has to deal with when it comes to plowing, including the one behind me right now, West Arrowhead Road and Rice Lake here in Duluth. As far as how the roads would get plowed if the strike were to happen, we reached out to the county for clarification, but they did not get back to us by news time. We did hear from a union spokesperson, Eric Skog. He says about 180 union members are asking for changes to their wages, benefits, and health insurance. Skog says the strike authorization vote didn't have to do with the recent long hours worked. He added that they will continue to plow during the rest of the negotiation process. Unfortunately, after five rounds of negotiations and two days of mediation, one which included a 19 hour mediation session, uh, the team just chose to walk away. We're in a position where the county uh, refuses to recognize a couple of issues that uh, have been identified by the Teamsters membership as well as uh, the union itself. And Skog said the union has a strike date in mind, but they don't plan on releasing it to the public. Their contract with the county expires December 31st. Again, the St. Louis County officials did not get back to us by news time tonight, but they did share a statement yesterday saying they respect the negotiation process and value their employees. Guys, back to you.